Hello, my love. Hello. Come into my new abode. How are you doing today? I'm doing all right. Lovely, Ooh, the dog. lovely job, Leah. I'll go don't run out. Hey, gorgies, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I've got my gorgeous Ollie Bob's with me, my Hello. fiance, and my lovely little Olga, which she's not she's, looking at the camera. No, she's, <laughs> she's been a bit, a bit of a pain. Oh, okay. oh, she's boring us now. I think she's hungry. It's food time, oh, but oh. we thought we'd sit down. That's her breath, is it? It's stinky. No, I was <laughs> saying in relation to food. Oh, it's okay. That time. It's the, and also, she knows the word. She but does. we're sitting down in our new house. We're in our living room currently. We are. And we're quite moved in for four days in. We are. We're and actually doing all right, aren't we? And it's the 18th of December, my birthday. It is. We've Happy had... birthday to you. Thanks, lovely. We've um, had a really good day with my family and uh, Ollie's parents helped us move in on the Saturday. And we had boxes everywhere. <laughs> Olgie, come here, sweetheart. Lie down. Come, Don't do that on. to your daddy. Come on. Lie down. Good What's a good girl? girl. <laughs> there we go. Oh. We got there right. eventually. We're but, in. So, today we wanted to just chat about moving house and being in boxes as a blind woman because Indeed. that is quite an ordeal and we've done it about four times now, living we've out of boxes it, yeah, in three it. years. So, let's say we moved once into London, another into where we were, and then... And then another here, so another yeah. Here. And then also your parents initially. Yeah, so like four so. times in the past three years-ish, in yeah, estimate. About that, maybe we, five actually. We've, we've moved too many times, yeah. We've just moved too many times. So we are here to stay. We, we are, want to live finally. here for the remainder of our days. We this can is actually the... like do stuff to this house to make it accessible. Yeah. So we actually own this house that we live in, which is a pinch me moment. It is pretty we're both We were both 23. I'm now 24. I was only just squeaked into you're, my 23s. You're, you're mid 20s now. I am mid 20s now. Oh, oh no. It, no, it's not an oh dear. I think it's fabulous. <laughs> no, it's we're so absolutely good. fabulous. But we are so, so lucky to own a house when we're 23 or yeah. 24 um, and we know how privileged we are, but we felt it was really important to do it um, at a younger age, especially for myself as a blind and disabled woman, mm. because I haven't been able to really adapt the house in the way that I would have personally liked for my disability. So now we're getting Hive Home installed in here, which makes me able to do the thermostat and everything, Indeed. my voice. Um, we can bodge holes in walls whenever we want to. We can, we can actually attach things. We can yeah. install any like talking boilers, for example. Exactly, we're going to change the boiler. We're going to get floodlights wherever and I'm gonna get light bulbs um that sort of work with Alexa and all that good stuff so Indeed. we're really excited about it but moving into boxes and having that all around me I wanted to discuss because um it's hard living out of boxes I think we have a lot of family health and support and Ollie's Indeed. amazing we are very aware that we need to get out of boxes as soon as possible because my yeah, mental health doesn't deal with like, it. Like over the past few days, so when we've been getting in, like so we moved in oh God, about Saturday. this time last week. We sort of had our first night here, didn't we? Yes, yes. So, and it was... but we were like properly out of boxes. Then we were on air beds, and mm -hmm. you were just you were not happy. I wasn't as happy. Well, well, Obviously, were, I was completely like, happy because we you got were the happy keys. about the house, but then you also had the bittersweetness of like you didn't know anything where anything was so and you had, where I was. Like, me sort of con like sort of basically providing like information and support and really support. yeah um, and then more, we didn't more. have like the internet either so quite a lot of your services that you can access yeah uh -huh. um like you're that i usually yeah like my alexa wasn't connected and different things like so i usually go what's the time and what my alarm is and just the fundamentals trying to make a cup of tea on my own and obviously everyone has some of those struggles when they move into a new house but it's even more debilitating yeah, for someone sort of like me all your independence yeah and i think obviously we've sorted that out now we're pretty much in after four or five days like we're organized our clothes yeah, are in we, which is been insane a manic few days, it like, has we've been, up late. we've been up since like two three a.m most nights ollie's been at work yeah so i'd go to work come back yeah read stuff <laughs> yeah go because he's so he sweet bless sleep. him uh and then meanwhile it's like my birthday so it's so cute actually we've got new home balloons birthday balloons and christmas cards um i'm preparing for my radio one show ollie's breaking up for christmas yeah i'm finally on holiday yeah Woo! 
<laughs> and um, that's so cool. I'm really excited yeah, that we have two weeks together. Um, and Ollie's coming to London with me for my Radio 1 show. So that mm-hmm. should be really cute. We should have a day in London. Well, a night. We'll have a meal or something to yeah. celebrate. Um, I had my hair extensions done as a birthday present from my auntie, my mum and my sister. So that was really cute. Uh, my nails done because obviously you have to have your nails done for Crimbo. Uh, priorities. Yes. Um, so that going and back and forth you to feel Birmingham. That you look good and things. Like, yeah. and you're, you're confident that you look good. I think also counselling has helped in this period of time. Mm-hmm. Um, I am not struggling with my mental health generally, but I think it's really important to keep tabs on myself, keep working on um, yeah. how and I'm feeling, keep in touch with myself. Like this, where yeah. your independence is removed, that sort of uh-huh. brings out the sort of worst in your mental health, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. Because it's sort of taking back everything that we've worked on for the past few years. Exactly. But also, I think it was really debilitating sort of learning routes for places we've rented yeah, um, with Olgi. Because I've just sort of lost them now. But yeah. now I feel like we're in. We're amazing. We're going to get through, you know, sort of doing a house together and having all those lovely memories. But Indeed. then me having my roots stable. So, yeah, all of yeah, my roots so we'll are going to go. we'll be able to modify it to... Our heart's content. So we're so excited for the future in 2020, what that will bring. We're really mm-hmm. excited for our careers. Um, I think we're just having a, a, a moment, a, aren't we? A good time. Yeah. So the things I have found useful in the moving process is having a suitcase and a place in all of the chaos that, that is, is so just long. mine. Um, I have really loved having help from friends and family and them just sort of putting things away initially and then me going and delving in and really getting containers within containers to put specific things yeah. um, after the fact because I think thinking about a box and putting it all away is very overwhelming and I used to get I used to have panic attacks about that about like thinking about everything all at once and then I'd have to sleep for ages because I had a headache about thinking mm-hmm. about where everything was when I first moved but I've had a different approach to it this time and thought right I need to sit back I need to let family and ollie help me more and then go in after and then just delve in refine. yeah and refine um also i think getting out and just uh going to the local shop having a coffee getting away from uh the chaos really helped as well yeah having removal men um removal men were a big part were massive because i think paying them to ha- to get it from the storage and bring it here um allowed and our right and stick it in the right room allowed our families then to so, really focus on yeah, they had the energy. helping us organize they had the energy to do that which i think is invaluable mm-hmm. it was for us anyway definitely um, half being a, de- a disabled person um how have you found it I've, with me well it's been uh up and down i'd say like yeah. your your mood hasn't been the best sometimes but um, better than other but, but moves? We've moved like three times. I'd How do you think this, this one is? This is the best gone? move so far. Yeah. Like, and uh, hopefully the only move. Yes. But, <laughs> we like, never know where life takes this being. Yeah. Indeed. But it, yeah, it's been easier this time because we've learned from our mistakes last time. Mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm. last, like the previous two times we've done it without removal men, mm-hmm, which mm-hmm. has been a lot mental. on our mental health. And also, like, when you, like, sort of are moving things, like, we'd do it in the cars, we'd load up a car, drive, and then... Uh-huh. You dis- so when you get there and you're organising, you discover that you're missing the one thing that you need to organise yeah, yeah. everything else. So it's just about cabinets, drawers... Um, um, Billy bookcases. Yeah, uh, and and having a place for everything. I think that's what we really focused on this time, to get in straight mm-hmm. away. Um and yeah, I'm just having a really lovely birthday. I feel the luckiest girl in the world today. Oh. I do. <laughs> Ollie oh, got me sweet. a cake. Oh my God. <laughs> it was the most uh, epic cake I've ever had, ever. Well, what up there? It's definitely, definitely up there. It's like Only this so Marks memory. and Spencer's, like Marks chocolate Spencer's, gato, like, triple chocolate fudge extravaganza. Chocolate and caramel cake or something like that. Oh, it was epic. And I got clothes and... Oh, just lots of love. So, Indeed. yeah. Um, uh, next week, I'm going to do a video on my own about Christmas because 
obviously that is upon us now and we have our gorgeous tree ollie show them our gorgeous okay, tree let's cut it's, this is our gorgeous tree with snow on we've got and lovely sprouts. sprouts yeah i was gonna say that we got them from paper chase years ago yeah and they and followed us ever since they have and it's our um rose gold and red tinsel with lovely lights and uh copper baubles and we go and round star. yeah we go round and this is just sort of i thought <coughs> i'd show you a bit of the living room uh we've got our bench and our tv and uh lights up this is quite impressive after four days but yeah um we're doing all right we've got i think our... the organization is key here isn't it sweetheart with all very the, much the, so. i just wanted to show you just a little bit of like the books and uh, all our bits on there and then just to the left like this is an overspill of our kitchen yeah um and we're going to put doors on that obviously but you can see what's going on there like not your happy birthday glasses stuff glasses on one bit and yeah i'm just yeah, but we really hope you enjoyed this little insight into moving and what it's like to move as a blind person. And I'll see you next week for a new one. Yeah, bye, bye guys.